Friends, in this video for I Thought Advisor, I'm going to talk to you on the topic measuring too hard. A lot of investors do a lot of measurement. They know exactly how their portfolio performs on a day-to-day -day basis, on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis, quarterly basis, half-yearly basis and annual basis. And they compare their portfolio with ever so many things. It could be the Nifty, the BSE Sensex, the Small Cap Index, the Mid Cap Index, with the Flexi Cap Mutual Fund, with the top PMSs. You will simply get confused seeing the extent of comparisons which people do. When I ask an investor who does this compulsively, like an addicted investor, his answer was, I want to be better than everybody else. Fair enough. But how is this comparison going to make you better than everybody else? I asked him the question. He said, I will find out who is doing better than me, find out what he is doing better than me, and simply copy that in my portfolio. What if you copy something exactly at the time when you should be reversing the decision? Maybe you buy something at a time when it should be sold. What if you are late to the decision itself? He says, then I will know after some time and I will sell everything and get out. Somebody who is comparing by nature wants to believe that he is superior to another investor. That is more important to him than getting the comfort that he is a good investor, that he knows what he is doing, that he is self-assured and confident that his strategy will eventually prevail. He believes this insecurity is actually good for his investing. I am not too sure if such insecurity will work positively for most of us. Personally, I am not a believer in such insecurity. I don't lend myself to comparison itself. The reason is, we are taking a bottom-up approach. We are buying businesses based on our conviction of what can happen in the long run. In the short run, the markets can take a view completely contrary to what we are taking. So performance could look distorted in the near term and that can be a test of our conviction. If at that time we are going to compare and allow that comparison to drive our subsequent investment decisions, the chances are that we would give away good decisions to move into mediocre or bad decisions. This eventually happened to some of my friends who are addicted to comparison. They sold better companies and bought poorer companies. There is no escaping this because we lose patience exactly at a time when we should have abundant patience. We make decisions exactly when we must wait a little longer. And we rush to make changes which were never needed in our portfolio. When you sell a stock and buy another stock, the chances of your replacing the stock you sell with a better stock are always not in your favor. There could be times when the odds are actually loaded against you. For example, when valuations are very high, you sell a better company and you always end up buying a more mediocre company. But when markets are extremely bearish, chances are that you will be able to actually buy better companies and build a portfolio of better companies. So the market circumstances must help you. And only then will you be able to make those changes which will benefit your portfolio. Your knowing which company is better is a primary factor and your conviction about how that company is far superior must be the decision driver. If these two come together, then you can consider making changes in your portfolio. It's very critical for all of us to be very careful about how we make changes. And we should not make changes because we compared our portfolio with another peer or a public fund manager. There is no need to do that. Most people do changes simply because of form of factor. They want to own what others own. They don't want to miss out owning what popular investors own. 
what popular fund managers own and that is how most of the stocks are purchased at valuations which are wrong or the wrong stocks are purchased at doubly wrong valuations. It is very important not to compare precisely for this reason. Appreciating what other investors do is one thing but comparing it out of envy or jealousy and trying to ape another investor blindly just to get his investment performance is not a sound strategy in my belief. Every investor is entitled to his own beliefs. I just shared what is one of my important beliefs. Thank you for watching this video.